Could you be able to to pinpoint what exactly is the importance of going back and 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 you know, like being in contact with the, the initial results and the main authors and the original stories here? So if you're not doing it enough, then that means there's something wrong with the way you were educated. But I, I think that there's no substitute for going back and reading the original papers. But whenever you can, at least going back to the original is hugely valuable, I think. Because, you know, th th this is some... So one thing that's important to understand about in the history of science, and I think many people in computing just fail to pick up on, is the importance of communication. Your goal is to communicate to other people. And so, you know, the original paper is communicating why this thing is important. But communication is vastly important. And I found often that looking at the original papers is a very good way of understanding what's going on. And, you know, also you can learn interesting things like they were interested in this because of this problem, which we don't consider a problem anymore, but now we use it for this other thing. You, you say that the goal of uh, kind of uh, science is, is to kind of communicate with other people. Well, so and this is if you kind don't of my communicate question. on to other people, you're not discharging your part of the chain. You're breaking the chain. You don't want to do that. 